As of uh, this is G of Laserable coming at you with another Destiny video and today I'm going to tell you guys what is the best weapon and weapon combo to use on the Asics stage of damage and how to input the most damage as you possibly can on all three phases. Now unlike other YouTubers this is not a clickbait title on the hey, this is the new meta this is the new weapon you got to pick this weapon up to do more damage. This is going to tell you guys overall in general what is the best weapon to use why you should use it and why I think it's more effective for some people and uneffective for others. But before we get started I do want to say thank you guys for the massive support. If you guys find these videos helpful and enjoyable please make sure you subscribe if you haven't saw already. If you are subscribed don't forget to double check if your notifications aren't turned on that way you guys know when we live stream and also when videos go up if you need help with raids or trials you're more than welcome to drive by the stream and just stop and say hello and see maybe you could get a raid run with us but without further ado let's go and talk about what the best weapon combo so as you guys know last week you know someone made a video hey man the 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 war path definitely pick up that rocket launchers the best rocket launcher to do dps and everybody in the community went wild went ahead picked up the rocket launcher and they're like you know now even lfg's like if you don't have this rocket launcher you can't get in and people are so confused on what to use because everybody was using the dark drinker now they're using rockets and all thing is going berserker some people can't even kill them in two phases because they're using the rockets inappropriately but today we're going to be talking about what is the best weapon combo but before we start weapon combo we're going to have to analyze the numbers and see how they pair well and how they do damage but before we go into the number thing I want to go ahead and point out something out before we get started doing a lot of DPS with a particular weapon requires a certain amount of skills for example if you are using the rocket launcher and you want to output a lot of DPS you're gonna at least have to shoot the rocket launcher and also get some snipe shots at, while you're at it. Now, I would say at least 20 to 30% of the community will be able to hit a critical sniper headshot on that axis. That leaves about 70% of the community who might not be able to hit that sniper shot. So all of this varies on not only how quick you are to get to the boss, but it also varies on how accurate your shots are. Now that being said, let's go ahead and talk about damage. So let's take a look at the Dark Drinker. So the Dark Drinker is a sword that, you know, if you have the artifact, you increase the amounts of heavy, but some people don't have it. So we're just going to keep the default stats of the amount of ammo you're able to get within the Dark Drinker. So the Dark Drinker is a sword, of course, I'm pretty sure everybody that does the strike is familiar with this particular sword. So one complete spin gives up gives out like eight hits. So it's like a combo of eight hits. That particular swing is does damage of four thousand sixty two damage when you're hitting the person. Just one particular swing. Now if you go ahead and take a bunch of swipes and you complete the whole st the whole stage, which is a twenty second period, um, you're able to output four hundred and twenty two thousand four hundred and forty eight. Now that is the total amount that you're able to get when using the sword with the complete amount of ammo and a full run without weapons or without tether, without anything. Just a complete sword weapon run. Now I want you to remember that number 422. Keep that in mind, 422. That is for the Dark Drinker. Now if you use the rocket launcher, the Warpath, or Onto Dust, and I'll tell you guys which one I think is better and why, uh, you're going to be outputting between either 400 thousand to uh like four hundred eighty thousand something around there and i'm gonna tell you why those numbers are a bit different now there's some people that use a rocket launcher and they output a little bit less and you're probably wondering well tell me how does that make sense how do you how how if you're using one weapon why isn't it always outputting the same amount so the until dust and the warp consists of cluster bombs these are projectiles that when you shoot the rocket it, you have separate explosions that cost or occur while you know after the impact is done so as you guys know Axix has a bunch of legs that he stands on because he's like a little spider when you shoot that rocket launcher those cluster bombs blow up and hit his legs now a lot of people will just go ahead and spam the rocket launcher and some will aim for the head some will aim for the legs some will aim for his torso and this causes the cluster bombs not to fully detonate on every single portion of his gear or of the ASICs. So what happens is some of you get a high number of damage, some of you get low uh, low amount of damage because when you're shooting your rocket, you're not shooting it properly. If you want to 
output and consist the most possible damage you can on Asix, you have to aim at his mid torso. The reason is because you got to think of the cluster bombs kind of like a firework. As you know, a firework goes up in the air and explodes outwards and causes a nice beret of, uh, of lights. That is pretty much similar to what the cluster bomb does. Once you hit that middle target, the cluster bombs spread outside and hit his legs. If you shoot his head, the cluster bombs will go ahead and spread out, but not all cluster bombs will hit or detonate, giving you the disadvantage of causing less damage than you would generally cause. If you shoot his legs, you might get a little bit good about amount of damage, but you won't get the max amount of damage as you hit his torso. So if you plan on using a rocket onto Dawn or a Warpath, you're going to want to go ahead and do double check that you're actually aiming correctly and hitting his torso to output the much damage. Now the question becomes is laser which rocket is better compared to the onto dust and to the wolf rocket. I believe that the best rocket out of these two is the dead orbit one onto dust and I'm going to tell you why. Because the onto dust gives you the advantage that it has a higher velocity or higher rate of you shooting these rockets and pushing them out compared to the wolf pack. Now the, the big the war path. Now the biggest issue is when you're using a rocket, like I said at the start of my video, you are going to want to empty your rocket and also get sniper shots off while you're at it. So you're going to want to make sure you're doing this effectively and correctly. So you're going to be, be able to get, remove eight shots of your rocket launcher. Once those eight shots are down, you're going to have at least about a total of eight seconds to maybe uh, seven seconds to be able to do more DPS with your sniper rifle. Once you go ahead and do that, you will then go ahead and produce more damage than you technically would. So if you're doing 400 damage, let's say you're just doing 400 with the Until Dust, counting the bullets that you're going to be able to output with your uh, with your you know sniper or whatever sniper, like let's say your Ex Machina or the Black Spindle, let's say you're going to be up putting a total of maybe, I would say, four to three shots around there. You're gonna be able. You're gonna be able to, you know, kick that a little bit higher than you would if you were, you know, using something else. So, what exactly are the best weapons to use for this run, and what, uh, you know, what's the best rocket launcher? So, like we said, Dark Drinker. Remember, 422. Until DOS, we said something around between 400 to 480. So let's go ahead and just say 4, 425. Let's just leave it right there. 425 would be our set number for any uh, either the future Wolko rocket or Until DOS. Now let's go ahead and talk a little bit of Hesed uh, Vengeance because a lot of people are asking, you know, is Hesed Vengeance a possible rocket to be used? Now Hesed Vengeance outputs a total amount of damage of 389 uh an 89,000 damage. So this one, it's little, relatively low and also the velocity and the rate you're able to shoot this rocket is also decreased because it takes about 18 seconds to empty all eight clips. Right now, the best rocket launcher out of all the rocket launchers we mentioned is the Until DOS. It only takes 12 seconds to empty all eight clips, giving you a fairly good amount of damage. Now, as far as snipers are concerned, you're definitely going to want to go with your Black Spindle or your Ex Machina. And these do really, really good damage. I mean, the Black Spindle does about 17 shots, does 351 damage. And the Ex Machina does, uh, you know, 310. So it kind of has a very, if you output all, you know, all 15 shots of the Ex Machina. Now that's if you have 15 shots or 17 shots. If you have 17, it's 351. If you have 15, it's 310. So that's how you guys can get an idea of what the, uh, you know, what pretty much what these snipers do. Now, I haven't seen this quite often, and I know a lot of you are maybe unfamiliar with this, but the, another weapon that's very crucial on this particular raid or this particular boss fight is the Lord of Wolves. If you guys don't have a Lord of Wolves, then you should definitely consider this one because the Lord of Wolves does 323 damage. Now, 323 damage is really, really effective just for one shotgun. It does more; da it does the same amount of damage as you would with a sniper shot. The cool thing about the Lord of Wolves is that as opposed to a sniper, you don't really have to aim the Lord of Wolves. You can just, you know, simply just walk up to him and shoot him with the Lord of Wolves, and no aiming or missing shots are required because it's going to be, be direct damage once you're there. So really really effective so in all general laser what is the best weapon combo that i could use when doing the fight here we go guys this is what i'm going to tell you guys the best weapon combo is the best weapon combo for doing the axis challenge as far as secondary 
and uh, you know heavy are concerned, of course your primary you're going to want to go with the Chaos Dogma. The Chaos Dogma is just amazing, uh, you know, pretty good weapon. But uh, you know, based on special and heavy, until Zoth's rocket launcher from the dead orbit, paired with the Lord of Wolves, that's going to output you the most damage across all three stages that where he spawns. So let's take a let's take a let's take a look at how this would work. When he spawns in. The first phase, you shoot your Chaos Dogma. The second phase, you shoot your Chaos Dogma. The third phase, you empty all eight clips of your rocket launcher, go in front and empty out your Lord of Wolves, and boom bada bing, you output the most damage possible. About 800,000 damage outputted by, uh, to him in just one single round. That's just pretty much doubling whatever the Dark Drinker does and doubling whatever just a rocket unloaded clip does you double that with that nice pair of uh of weapons so that's the best weapon combo now before i let you go i do want to mention a couple things if you're running raids and you're trying to help people out please make sure guys if people don't have the rocket launchers the dark drinker still very effective i think it's one of the newbiest uh weapons to use but the most effective in the sense of two reasons one reason it helps you kill the captains fairly easy you get the captains get the cannons Number two, you don't have to aim it. You just go down there, drop down, and just spam the button, and you start doing damage. Another cool thing about um, being able to use the Dark Drinker is uh, that you are able to use the rockets or the, you know, the cannons that spawn when you are doing the phases. Now, this is one of the biggest pet peeves I have when I'm doing this raid is people, when they have these sort of combos, they forget about using the cannon. And then, like cannon is so important. What I like to say is, Empty, if you know if you're gonna be if you have a cannon, empty out the cannon on the first teleport and the second teleport. Then use your weapons because a lot of people what they do is get the cannon, you know, they, they get the servitors, and then when it comes time to actually doing some sort of damage, the cannon. Uh, when you go and you know you see his health, you're like, all right, man, we got his health pretty good, and then you see a bunch of cannons laying in the, laying on the on the battlefield because no one emptied out the cannons. That's one of my biggest pet peeves. Please, guys, please, if you're doing this strike, I mean, not this strike, but this raid, please double check that you're using your cannons, everybody, to do the most damage as possibly as you can. So once again, what is the best weapon combo? Chaos Dogma, Until Dawn, Lord, uh, Lord of Wolves. If you don't have the Until Dawn, use the Wolf, uh, the Warpath, and you should be good to go. I hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you did, make sure you guys drop a comment and a like, and don't forget, guys, for all things Destiny, Make sure you keep it locked on this channel, and I will catch you guys on the next video. SFA, this is Geo Blazable coming at you with another Destiny video, and today I'm going to tell you guys what is the best weapon and